You can look at the sun. The sun is burning up its fuel source. So Kent always says that the sun is burning off its fuel, but this really isn't accurate. The sun is taking hydrogen and changing it into helium through nuclear fusion in its core. The helium has less mass than the original hydrogen, and it releases this extra mass as energy. You know, E equals mc squared? This doesn't cause the sun to shrink. It actually is making it expand. And the sun contains 99% of the mass in our solar system. So even over its entire lifespan, the mass it's lost is negligible. The sun is losing about six times 10 to the 12th power grams per second, and it has a mass of two times 10 to the 33rd grams. So the fraction of mass it loses every year is about 10 to the negative 13th power. The Earth's orbit is 150 kilometers, and if you multiply that by 10 to the negative 13th power, you get about 1.5 centimeters. That's how much bigger the Earth's orbit gets every year, less than an inch. It would take about 65,000 years for the Earth to move away one kilometer. I can walk that far in just a few minutes. Shrinking because of it's burning up its fuel, and it is not only shrinking, it is throwing off 5 million tons a second. It's losing weight. Well, if your sun's been losing weight for billions of years, if you get back in time in your imagination, the sun would be much heavier, making gravity stronger. Gravity isn't affected by weight. It's affected by mass. The more massive two objects are in space, the more space-time is bent, and the stronger the gravitational attraction between the two objects will be. And even if the sun had more mass billions of years ago, that doesn't mean it would suck all of the planets in our solar system in like a giant vacuum cleaner. It just means the orbits of the planets would change a small amount. The habitable zone of Earth, meaning the distance to the sun where we aren't too close and too hot or too far away and too cold, is about 0.9 to 1.2 astronomical units. One astronomical unit is the distance between the Earth and the sun. Sucking all the planets in. You cannot have the fine balance between Earth and Sun with it just being in the right habitable zone for millions and billions of years while the Sun's losing weight so fast. Why not? 